Hello everyone. In today's video, we shall learn how to do this hidden text effect in Notion. And as usual, I'm going to write down the code, and we shall see towards the end of the video uh, how it actually works. If we made any mistakes, we shall learn how to correct them. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. So for the example, we can see that the word is slightly hidden towards the bottom half. The reason for this to happen is because of substack. So that's the first thing that we're going to do is put in a substack function slash substack. After this is where you want your um, font size or the font that you want and also the color and all everything um, is included within the substack function. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to open uh, the bracket and we shall close it later on towards the end of the equation because it's uh, quite a lot that comes into the substack um, function. So the first thing uh, is obviously the type of font you want. So I'm going to go for a serif, a sans serif kind of a font as you can see from the example on the screen. So slash text sf. So after this it gives the entire word or the sentence that you're going to give the entire word or sentence will be a sans serif. So now you want to decide whether you want it huge or you want it small or tiny normal size. So to do that you're again going to open it and put in I'm going to give huge and I'm going to also give in slash text bf. So what this does is uh, it combines both text sf and text bf together to give this nice uh, sans serif bold font you know uh, it's like both of them are combined together to give this beautiful uh, font and also the size of the font also plays a role in this so after you're done with this obviously you want to go ahead and put in a word so I'm going to give uh, a random word nice and I'm going to go ahead and close the bracket. So this part of uh, the equation is done uh, and we still have this yet to be covered. So let's go ahead and do that. So we are halfway through the equation. So the next portion would definitely be for the second half because we almost finished the first portion that is the actual word itself. So now we have to focus on how to actually make the bottom part um, hidden. So to do that we have to obviously go to the next line and for that we are going to put in two backslashes and it automatically goes into the next line. So now we want to put in the uh, M units and for that we have to open a square bracket minus 0 0.8 M. So what minus 0 0.8 M uh, unit stands for is that it basically tells the white line that you, hey you have to start from this particular point and downwards. So that's basically what it means. So the next function is obviously you have to put in a color box because it's a white line. And for that we have to use in slash color box. Basically slash color box is you're telling the entire uh, space to be that particular color. It can be any height and any width. And slash color is basically you're giving color to the text. So now what you have to do is depending on uh, whether you have a white theme or a dark theme, you can choose that particular uh, color. Oh yeah, I have a white theme, so I'm going to go ahead and type in white, and I'm going to go ahead and close it. So the color is sorted out. So the next thing is obviously you want to go ahead and um, type in bracket and slash text SF. And we want to repeat this entire uh, uh, function. We want to repeat the uh, sans serif function and we want to repeat the bold function. So that's what we are going to be doing right here. So open the bracket, slash and text BF. And again, we want to open the bracket and slash headspace because headspace is the horizontal space 
and that's where we get to specify the length of the word and this might be tricky but when we play around with values we tend to get a sweet spot so I'm going to go ahead and put in 5m units and now this is covered we still have this one left to do so let's go ahead and do that right about there so we are basically towards the end of the equation the only thing that is left to do is to trace back to see if there are any open brackets and if we do find any open brackets let's go ahead and close them uh, right in this spot right here so as I mentioned earlier this is done this is also done uh, we have yet one and then two so let's go ahead and put two more one and two so basically from year to year is done this is uh, done the M unit is covered this is also done and from year to year the only one that is left is uh, the function substack so let's go ahead and cover that and we are done so basically this is the equation two lines and if you know the equation by heart you can go ahead and type in the word I'm going to type in hey so now I'm going to copy this equation and I'm going to highlight this you can use the create equation or the block equation I'm going to go ahead and use this one the create equation and paste it right there and hit done so I come across an error that is we definitely do not want the minus 0.8 m and the brackets to be in the function so let's go ahead and remove that but before that I'm going to make this slightly bigger probably m2 right so to correct the error uh, we want to check exactly near where the problem is that is somewhere about here. I'm going to go ahead put this over there and delete okay and hit done we can see that we are almost close to how we want our result to be but there's a slight difference in the horizontal space so you can go ahead and hit uh, hit on the word so we want to definitely change this value I've given five the horizontal space for hey value is 5 but it depends on the word so hence you have to play around with the m value so I'm going to give it right about 5.5 and see you can definitely change it and hit done okay so now we can see that there's a bit of C peeping out so let's see what we can do with that I'm going to change it to 7 and C right yeah there it's much better there's no C peeping out and it the word is still quite hidden and it looks really really nice so this is how you can create your own hidden text in notion I hope you learned something from this video and I'll see you in the next one bye